In this week's Health Check, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Satish Boka from WVU Medicine, Camden Clark Medical Center to learn more about strokes and what are some of the ways to prevent it. Dr. Boka, thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Absolutely. Now, can you tell us what a stroke is and kind of what are the different types of strokes that people maybe can experience? Yes. Um, there's another uh, term for the stroke. Uh, it's called the brain attack. Mm -hmm. It's like the heart attack. Uh, just that the blood vessels in the brain, when they're blocked, that particular part of the brain is damaged. Mm -hmm. From that, people experience the symptoms. Uh, the symptoms may vary from um, like numbness, tingling, weakness, facial droop. Uh, for that, uh, we made a mnemonic called the B fast. Mm -hmm. B for balance. People have the balance issues. Um, e for uh, eye, uh, like eyesight problems. They may see the double vision or they may see the blurry vision. Mm -hmm. And the f uh, F for facial drooping. So they have like one side of the face is droopy. Uh, a for arm or leg weakness. Uh, yes for uh, they have some slurred speech. And the T for time to call 911. So internationally, people use the B fast mnemonic in a way that the people know about the symptoms of the stroke. Uh, so they will know it's a time to call a 911 when they notice one of those symptoms. Uh, at the same time, like, like you asked me, what are the different types of the stroke? Mm -hmm. the mainly, there are the two uh, types of the strokes, one ischemic strokes and hemorrhagic strokes. Uh, ischemic strokes means when the, the blood vessel in the brain is blocked. Mm -hmm. So that type of uh, stroke is called ischemic stroke. Uh, if you have a blood um, bleeding from the blood vessel, that is called a hemorrhagic stroke. And so I want to ask too, um, how can you prevent yourself from falling for a stroke, uh, falling victim to it? There are many uh, risk factors for the stroke. The most important ones are um, like high, uh, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. um, like uncontrolled diabetes, high cholesterol, uh, old age. Um, apart, these are the uh, main things along with this, like uh, smoking, like chronic alcohol abuse. Um, some of the uh, people have some f family history. These are most of the important risk factors for the stroke. Okay. Most of the uh, prevention of the stroke depends upon the uh, like modifiable risk factors. Like if you put the blood pressure or the blood sugar under the control, mm -hmm. uh, like same likewise on the blood bl blood cholesterol too. So in those situations, the people will get some prevention mm -hmm. uh, before having the you know stroke symptoms or stroke like that one. Right, and so you talk about the stroke symptoms and maybe trying to catch it mm -hmm. before you know it happens. Yes. What is a way, are there things out there, different types of things that are able to help you diagnose it or you know get it treated before maybe it turns into something more serious? Yes. So uh, we don't have any screening uh, for the stroke itself, mm -hmm. but generally uh, whenever during the regular blood workup, if you see um, like bad cholesterol greater than 70, you got to be careful. And the same way, if your blood sugars are not controlled, like the A1C, if it is greater than like seven, you have to be you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, if you get the uh, like a carotid ultrasound or the angiography for the carotid blood vessels, mm -hmm. uh, if you have like more severe stenosis, that is also one of the common you know etiology for having the right. strokes. In those situations, uh, you got to concern with the you know uh, stroke neurologist or vascular uh, surgeons so that you can put on the medication so that will help you to prevent the um, strokes. Okay, and so I wanna ask too, because we've been seeing a lot more nowadays that younger people have been suffering from stroke. Can you just kind of talk to that and talk about, you know, is this just something that older people should worry about? Is this some people that it really is younger people that need to worry about? All people, can you just touch to that as yes. well? In the, um, in, the, in the past, people always think that the stroke is the you know, mm -hmm. old people disease. But recently, we have so many young people uh, have these strokes, especially in the, even in like age of 20s, 30s, 40s, uh, do come with these strokes. Um, the risk factors more or less the same in both the population, but in right. the younger people, mainly like uh, exposed to the drugs, um, mm -hmm. like chronic smoking, and if they have a family history or a genetic predisposition. So in those, those are some of the risk factors for the strokes in the younger people. So, and another important one is the uh, trauma. From the trauma, people do have some carotid dissection, like mm -hmm. the, uh, the dissection of the blood vessels in the neck. That's right. also put the patients at the risk of having these strokes in the younger folks. Okay, and before I let you go here too, mm -hmm. I want to ask, what is carotid artery disease and kind of how does it relate to the topic of stroke? Yes. Um, the, 
the most common causes for the uh, stroke, like I mentioned, the vascular risk factors, mm -hmm. that is one of the thing, and the, another one is carotid artery disease. What does it mean? The blood vessels in the neck or carotid arteries, mm -hmm. those two blood vessels supply the blood supply to the brain. When you have the bad risk factors, so your blood vessels can be narrowed down because of the calcifications. Right. So the narrowed blood vessel increases the risk of the strokes, either by decreasing the blood flow to the brain or the, the calcifications, they flick off and they can go to the brain and cause the uh, symptoms. So carotid artery disease is the most common you know, etiology for you know, strokes, especially in the older people, uh, but possible too in the younger people too. Okay, and so now before I let you go, Dr. Boca, is there anything else about stroke or anything else that you talked about, you know, warning signs, symptoms, red flags that you'd like to share with the viewers before I let you go? So um, people need to know why the stroke is so important and why everybody is talking about mm -hmm. the stroke because the stroke management depends upon the time. So there are, there are some acute managements do available for the stroke patients within the three to four point five hours of symptom onset. Mm -hmm. So if you come during the time period within the three hours of the symptom onset, you will get the clot buster medications and it has a very good prognosis with that, uh, with that medication. At the same time, if you have a blood clots uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the brain, so we have some surgical interventions so that you can pull off the clot and you will be like get the you know, symptom improval within a few hours. So that is the reason why the, the patients who notices the symptoms like I mentioned be fast, they have to come to the emergency department sooner than later. If they come earlier so we can help them in a way we can give the clot buster medication or we can do the surgical intervention where we can remove the clot off. So that is very, very important because like every uh, 40 seconds, mm -hmm. there is a one stroke in the United States. Wow. And at the same time, for, per annum, there is more than 800,000 people are suffering from this stroke. Mm -hmm. It's a, and at the same time, uh, stroke is the serious, you know, the f uh, leading cause of the serious long-term disability and the fifth leading cause of the death. So there is so many people, you know, suffering from this mm -hmm. stroke and there is so much burden and uh, United States, when many millions of billions of dollars on this, you know, prevention and for the treatment right. of the stroke. So earlier prevention would be to, you know, much more help for mm -hmm. the population, Absolutely. you know, to decrease the long-term disabilities. Well, Dr. Boca, thank you for Thanks such so great detail, insight, and knowledge on such an important topic. Thank you so much. Absolutely. When we come back, Mid-Ohio Valley, Kirk Greenfield has one last look at your forecast. Stay with us.